Okay, so this is a quick video on how to install an aftermarket um, stereo on a Lexus ES300 from 97 to 2000, I believe. Um, so there is a couple of videos that I've been watching on YouTube about how to install it. Um, none of those really kind of works in the way that I wanted to um to install it um maybe because i i'm using um this kind of android stereo which i don't know if this stereo was a little bit more complicated than other ones uh probably probably not um but um and actually from other um installation that i'm seeing um i i, I got um i got this installation um harness kit it was actually it was helpful because actually um i was able to put the ground and you know um the 12 volts um and all the kind of like the power for the stereo which is working right now and actually you can hear you can hear the speakers now they're working um uh, the antenna is no connector yet but um you can hear the noise on that um and yeah very quickly so um the, the one of the problems with this harness kit is the um is the speakers um because uh when you're trying to just uh throw in the signal um using the harness um they have to go from here to the um to the amplifier um and actually um, doesn't work the amplifier um, for some reason uh, it doesn't receive the signal um, even like I found this harness kit has um, has an amplifier signal um, to wake up the, the amplifier but it doesn't work for some reason I couldn't make it work so um, I end up uh, finding this information in a forum uh, somebody who did it in, in a different way, which is like um, sending the the speaker signals straight to the um, straight to the um, to the speakers from the stereo. Um, the only thing is you had to bypass the the amplifier, and there is um, couple ways to do it but the one that i found is kind of the, the easiest is no uh, unplug the whole amplifier and just uh, find the speakers that in from the output of the amplifier and just uh, connecting these cables that are the speakers cable from the stereo um, on those connections um, so actually i'm gonna try to put the camera here and you will see this is the amplifier um so there is three connectors. The one in the top, um, those ones have to be just stay on because those are not the speakers. Uh, actually, that's, I think that's the signals coming in. And these two, which is one that I cut already, those are the front speakers. And there's a third one in the bottom, which is uh, um, the, the second in the top, uh, which is this guy. Uh, these are the back speakers. Um, all the back speakers and the subwoofer. Um, I can put the diagram in the YouTube channel. But anyway, um, so the only thing you have to do is um, just um, taking some, I, I, in this case, I'm gonna put some, just an adapter and I'm gonna just put the, I'm just gonna plug the, the cables here. I'm not gonna cut them. Um, I, don't, I don't want to cut everything. Um, this one was kind of like necessary because uh, um, uh, for some reason that one needs to be plugged. I think there's some power signals coming in. So I just cut the speakers out and that was it. Um, and it's working now. Um, the only probably um, uh, not a complication, but you know, um, little work that you have to do is uh, make the cables for uh, the speakers to 
the signal, the, the cables here travel to the amplifier, but um, um, it's not a lot of work to do actually. I'm, I'm gonna make um, cables and put them together, so it will be like about eight of them, and that's it. Yeah, it will work fine. Um, and I think that's that's a better way to doing it. Um, eventually, I realized the um, one of the problems um, the amplifier needs to be plugged uh, because it's the one who send uh, power to the to the stereo. Um, even the factory stereo, it works in that way. So um, the energy, uh, the power comes from the stereo side. I'm sorry, from the amp to the stereo. So um, and then it travels. Um, the signal for the speaker travels back to the amp, so that's why um, um, that loop, uh, if you don't connect it properly, it doesn't it, it won't work. Uh, I know some stereo have the um, has a better um, uh, connectors for the amp, but I think this one is a little bit complicated. Um, it actually has it has a DVD and um, they have a bunch of cables even like wireless and um, subwoofers, extras. Yeah, so it's kind of more uh, more connections than I think uh, uh, it make it harder. Uh, also like uh, a lot of a lot of these Android Android aftermarket they don't come with the, the best manual so you have to figure out by yourself or if, you know it comes with names and the cables but that's the that's the whole information you have. Um, so in this case, um, everything is working now. I will make another video uh, with everything uh, uh, put it back in place and show you show you guys how, how it sounds.